Hi, I'm Marina. I'm a scientist at BioBus. Welcome to our weekly Explore at Home Science Challenge. Today, I am going to show you how you can grow plants from food scraps you can find at home. This is a cool experiment because it allows you to grow more food from scraps that usually end up in the garbage. If you don't want to eat the food you grow, you can also let these grow into beautiful plants that hang out around your house. Indoor plants can remove pollutants from the air by absorbing them through their leaves and roots, making the air you breathe in your home cleaner. First step, let's find some scraps. I'm going to be looking in my compost bin, but you can use veggie scraps left over from cooking meals in your home. Maybe this week, while someone in your house is cooking, you can sneak parts of the plant they are not using so we can do this experiment together. Step two, preparing our scraps. When we are preparing our food scraps, we want to focus on finding stems. You should ask an adult for help here because you might need to use a knife when trimming your plant scraps. For veggies, like different kinds of lettuce, cabbage, and celery, we want to focus on the bottom of our plant, where all the leaves grow from. But care plants stem from the top, not from the bottom. Scallions are easy because usually parts of the roots remain. Once you trim your veggies so that you are left with stems, you have finished the hardest part. Step three is to find a container. You can use glass or plastic containers from your recycling bin or kitchen containers like Tupperware and jars. Once you have your container, you can place your plant in a little bit of water, stick them on a windowsill or somewhere with lots of sunlight, and wait. You can measure the growth after a few days. For bonus growth, you can even transfer them into containers with soil once the roots grow in so that they can absorb nutrients. You can try this with a variety of vegetable scraps like garlic, ginger, and herbs like basil. Throughout the next few days and weeks, record your plant growth and submit your data on our Explore at Home website. I'm excited to see your results.